everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I wanna to show you guys how to make some fun fabric twine. And you can make your own out of this awesome fabric. It's so much fun. Like, so versatile, so many things you could do with it. And you can see here, this is what it looks like. Just like that. And I wanna show you guys the technique on how to use it, and then I will show you some uses for it. So what I have here is this is just some cotton tablecloth, is what this is, and I took it and just ripped long pieces of it. I would suggest to do maybe an inch, about an inch wide, and if you get too long, it starts tangling up at the end, so yeah, I have it about, it's about 36 inches. So it's a yard long, okay? And that seems to work pretty good, just depending on what you're gonna use it for and how long you want it, but. Okay, so I got cotton, and then I have flannel, which is great to use, and just some regular just cotton fabric, which is nice. Uh, cotton seems to work the best for sure, and that's what I like to, lean towards and go with. Um, you could do the sari silk. That would work nicely too. And let's see. So here I have one thing you should consider is when you use just some really, you know, double-sided fabric where it's pretty on one side and then not so pretty on the other side. So keep that in mind. If you don't mind it just being inside out, pretty if you, you know when you twist it and stuff, it'll be like an inside out look. But that doesn't bother me at all. I don't mind it. But just that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. So if you want more solid colors and stuff, just uh, yeah, just make sure that's what you're picking out when you're doing your fabrics and stuff. Okay. So those are some things to look for. Now I want to go ahead and show you guys the technique here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with our tablecloth here. And this is coffee dyed. I went ahead and coffee dyed it. So I'm just going to take it, put these two together, and I'm going to tie it off at the end here. And just do a loose knot just in case you want to undo it or add beads to it or anything like that. So just go like that. Okay, let's move all this out of the way so there's no distractions. Okay, and what I do is just hold between my pointer finger and my thumb and I just pinch it right at the edge, just along the knot right here, okay? So you're gonna make sure that nothing's tangled. And any of the threads that come off of it, I don't mind twisting up the threads with it, like these loose threads that come off and stuff, but if you want, you can just pull them off and put them, I keep them because I think they're great for clusters, for junk journaling and stuff like that. I mean, I love it in my little fabric scraps. So I just keep a little rat's nest is what I call it here of just my threads and all kinds of things from fabrics, from sewing, different things like that. So, but if you want, just keep it in on there and I don't mind it just twisting up in it. It just gives a little more character. Okay, so pointer finger, thumb, pinch it. Make sure these aren't tangled. So you have one further away and one closer. So you're gonna go with the further away and you're gonna grab it and you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna twist away from you, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna bring it towards you. And when you bring it towards you, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna grab the next one. And then you're gonna pinch down, okay? So then you drop this one and then you have the one further away from you, so, okay? So let's go twist away, bring it towards you, middle finger, grab, and go like that. So twist away, towards you, grab with your middle finger, and bring your pinch down. So once you get this down, it's, it's pretty easy. Okay, and then down here, if you got a lot, just make sure it doesn't get twisted up. Okay, so twi twist away from you, like that, bring it towards you, grab with your middle finger and bring your pinch down. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of just do it for you. Just 
just like that and then just make sure this doesn't get tangled at the end and any threads that come off I just make sure to save them well that's my needle don't want that okay so away from you twist bring it towards you grab with your middle finger and then pinch down to see that it's just repetitive and then just, you're just moving that one over you're just pinching twisting and moving just like that and then when this gets all tangled up you just stop you just make sure to untangle it like that okay so grab the furthest away twist away from you Bring it towards you, grab your middle finger, and then bring your pinch down, just like that. And then this is what you should be having happen, just like that, which turns out really fun. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for just a little bit longer, and if you guys need to see it in slow motion, just rewind and go check it out again, okay? So I'm just going to kind of do it in real time here for you guys. Okay, so that's coming along nicely. And this is just great to sit, you know, in front of the TV, your favorite program, and just, it's like meditative, meditative. And just, you sit there and do that, and it's just so much fun. So I'm gonna stop for now, just to show you guys some other things I wanted to show you. And I just do a little clip, just so it doesn't come unraveled. But um, once we get all the way to the end that we want, you just go ahead and just tie a knot. And yeah, so there's that. I think it turns out really fun. And if you guys need to see it slower, like I said, just go ahead and just go back and check at the beginning again. And yeah, you'll get it. It's, it's really fun. Okay, so now I wanted to show you guys what you could do if you have one that gets short, like, so you have it so they're not different lengths and you just have like kind of scraps like that, you know. So you can go ahead and use them and just keep twisting, twisting till you get to the point of this one about, what do I have it at? Three inches. I would stop about three inches. And there's a couple ways that you can uh, go ahead and add on with another piece. Okay. I'm going to show you guys that. So what you could do is the no-sew uh, method is to take this piece and twist it just twist it up okay and then you put it in here you put it in this one like that and then you just roll this one up around it so you're just going to twist twist away from you like that okay so you're just going to do the twist method Take it, undo your clip, pinch, and then pull it towards you, drop it, twist this one, middle finger, grab that one, twist it around. So you're just going to keep twisting, and then it's all twisted up in it. So that's definitely an easy way to do it, but if you are a beginner and it's hard for you to get that twisted up in it and it keeps falling out, so you just keep twisting it. And then just twist, just like that. Just twist away from you. And then you just go like that, okay? 
So there it is. So it's all in there. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can just do this. It takes a little bit more time, but not really. Just get your piece here. Go like this. Put your pieces together and I will go up about two inches or so like that. Okay. And then you take your needle. This needle is the one that kept wanting to come join us anyway. <laughs> so here it is. So we got our needle. I just tied a knot at the end. And this is just a piece of fabric rope. Um, I actually use it in my tie dyeing and stuff and my rainbow gift bags and stuff that I have in my Etsy shop. And uh, it's just uh, that rope. It's just cotton rope. And I just take pieces off of that. And I love sewing with it too because it's just so natural and fun. I like it. So you just take it, go about two inches up like that. And then you're just gonna want to do a running stitch. So you just go down and up like that. And then down and up. So that's just a running stitch. And then if you pull tight, it'll do that, but I just kind of pull it straight. So down and then up. Okay. And then you can just do a little back stitch. Oops. Back stitch. And then it's not going nowhere. And then do a little snip. And there you go. So that's definitely another option if you're comfortable with doing that and it is not going anywhere. So then you just keep going. You twist away from you, grab with your middle finger, bring that towards you and then pinch. So twist away, bring it towards you, grab with your middle finger and pinch. So you just keep going just like that. And I just bring my pinch down just to keep it so it doesn't come unraveled. And then you just untangle your ends. So depending on how long you wanna do uh, the ends, like if they keep getting twisted up for you, I would just go down for, you know, two feet or something like that. But, you know, however you wanna do it. Um, and also I wanted to tell you guys, um, make sure you're uh, breaks like your sizes of your fabric isn't at the same place that you're adding another piece to it because that'll just weaken your twine so just make sure like you added a piece here make sure you go at least six inches or so and then you can add another piece to it so just make sure you stagger them because you don't want two weak points in the same spot on your twine because it it'll just make it so it's just weak okay so now I want to show you guys some examples you can use these for. So these are great. You can use for uh, wrapping gifts with them. You can you know tie it around it and have a cute little rope that they can use on all kinds of stuff. They're like, oh, that's really neat. And you can tell it's handmade and super fun. So you can put it around gifts. You could put it around. I made this the other day with you guys. And it is a... Uh, slow stitch fabric pouch and I will make sure to put it on the end screen so you guys come check out how to make this. It turned out really fun. I made it out of jeans and uh, coffee fabric, coffee dyed fabric. And what I did here is it just wraps around just like that. I sewed it with the button on top of it. Okay, just sewed it to the little flap here. And the cool thing is, is that you can add at the end here, some beads. So you can take some beads and I just got a little key that I tied on there. So stuff like that. And I've noticed that like the dread, dreadlock beads and stuff have the bigger holes and they're really cool. I got some more coming from Amazon. So I'll make sure to, uh, do the, you know, another example and stuff with this and, uh, do some bead work on it 
and show you guys. So if you guys would like to see that, I'd love to hear in the comments. Let me know if you guys would like to see me uh, do some more twine stuff and then add some beads throughout. Uh, I think that would be really fun. So I got some fun things coming. And you can even add just little trinkets hanging off of it. So those are just really cool to do uh, with this fabric twine. So this is definitely something you can do. It's you could take a pouch and, you know, after you make your little pouch and have a flap, you can wrap it around that and it secures it and you just twist it around and then there you go. It's not going nowhere. So that's definitely an idea to use it for. And let's see. Um, I also have just a journal. You could take a journal and you could do the same thing. You just take it and just do a little wrap around just like that. I mean, you could twist it around like that or you could tie it off like this. And then you have it so it's all tied. So you could put it on a journal, which is an awesome idea. Um, and you can incorporate it into your junk journals. You could do some decorative stuff from the front with them. You can weave it in and out of the spine. Uh, there's just so many options. I mean, you could even take it and do that. You could just like, this is a, just kind of like a traveler's kind of style where you could take it out, traveler's notebook. You could just pop this in and out. So it's that kind of little journal that I did here. And you could even weave it, you know, in and out of your spine. I mean, you just look around and see what you could do with these and there's just so many uh, fun little options and this just kind of adds a little interest just like that I mean how fun is that like that and you can just have it hang or you can tie it together here I mean, however you want to do it it's just really cool and I just love the feel of it and just the homemade organic feeling of it. And it's just so much fun. So fun. So, yeah. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Just make this a quick video for you and show you some fun stuff. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps my video get out there further for other people to see how to make this fun fabric twine. And, yeah. So I just wanted to pop on real quick and show you guys this go. So those are my little examples. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting.